Okay, so today we will start the method of sections. Okay, so in the method of joints, what, what was our normal procedure? We identify the joint where the, there are only two unknowns are there and we solve that joint. Okay, we draw the free body diagram of the joint and then we use the equation summation fx and summation fy to solve the joint. Okay, now in the method of section, uh, what we are going to do now, so what is the advantage of method of section and what is the difference between method of joints and method of section? That we will understand first. Now suppose uh, a truss is there. I will draw one diagram for clarity. So a truss is there. Now if I draw it. So, like the problem which we have solved yesterday like this one if suppose a truss is there now if i give naming to the truss a b c d e now there are two methods to solve this first is the method of joints joints okay and second is the method of section method of section so now suppose I want to uh, want to find the forces in members, okay? But I don't require the forces in all the members. Suppose I want to calculate the forces in member BC, okay, then member BE, and then suppose BC and BE, these are the two members, okay? These are the two members for which I want to know the nature of the force, whether it is tensile or compressive and the magnitude of the force I want to calculate. Okay. So by normal method, method of joints, what we will do, suppose we are having, it is simply supported truss. Suppose now two simple supports are given, okay, RA and RB, and something loading is given on the truss. Imagine that some loading is given over here, here also that is P1, P2, whatever it may be the loading. So in the method of joints, what we normally do, if we want to calculate the forces in member B and BC, you tell me, method of joints, you studied now. I want to calculate the forces in member BC and B. How I will be able to calculate the forces? What should I do for that? These angles are also known to you, huh? 60 degree, 60 degree, 60 degree, okay. Angle is also known to you. Angle is also not a problem. What what the first thing you will do? What the first thing you will do? Hmm? So yesterday's whatever example is given to you, that answer I will uh, share you on the group. Okay, not during the lectures, I will share it on the group. Huh. So whatever I am asking, please give me the answer first. Now, I want to calculate the forces in member BC and member BE by using method of join. What is my first step? How I am going to get those forces? 
फर्स्ट कॅल्क्युलेट द रिएक्शन ओके गुड फर्स्ट इथं काय करावं लागणार तुम्हाला कॅल्क्युलेट द रिएक्शन आर ए अँड आर बी ओके आफ्टर द कॅल्क्युलेशन ऑफ द रिएक्शन व्हॉट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप After the calculation of the reaction, what is the next step? Hmm. What is the next step after the calculation of the reaction? We find out joints where the two forces are unknown. Okay. So we find find out the joints where the two unknown forces are. Only two unknowns are there. So you can either start from joint A. or join d okay then what you will do first of all you have to solve this joint a you have to calculate the forces in uh, forces in member ab and ae after that you can go to joint b and then at joint b you remember bc and b is there and after solving joint b you will get the values in member bc and b okay so one thing the uh, one thing is that even though if i want the uh, forces in the member bc and be which is at joint b still i required to solve the joint a manje mala jar bc ani b itle jar value kadaychi astil tar mala joint a solve karavaj lagte unless and until i solve the joint a i won't get the forces in member bc and b or mala reverse jav lagal mag adhi joint d solve karav lagal mag joint c karav lagal and then come over here okay so in the method of joints you have to follow a sequence okay you have to choose a joint where two unknowns are there and from there you have to go okay and if i want to know the forces in member b b c first of all i have to solve the joint a and after that i can go to joint b but in the method of section what is the difference now in the method of section first step is same first you need to calculate the reactions r a and r b the step number 1 is same okay step number 1 is same but here the step number 2 is solve joint a solve joint a okay but here in the method of section the step number 2 is not solve joint a we will pass the section okay we will pass the section through the members for which we want the forces now see here i want the force in member bc and member be so i will draw one section line so this is my section line let us call this as section 1 1 let us call this as section 1 1 okay now i am passing this section line in such a way that this section line is cutting the member in which we want the forces that is the member bc is cutted by the section line 1 1 member b is also cutting by the section line 1 1 and this member a is also cutting we don't require the force in member a still it is coming uh, in the way so it is also getting cut while passing the section line the care should be taken that maximum three members should be cut by the section maximum kiti number cut vayla pahije teen teen peksha jast member jar cut hot astil tumcha section line mule tar tumhala answers milnar nahi is it clear yes sir hmm manje method of sections madhe kay kele mi की मेथड ऑफ जॉइंट्स मध्ये मला ए जॉइंट सॉल्व करावा लागायचं मग बी ला जावं लागायचं मेथड ऑफ सेक्शन मध्ये मी काय केलंय मला कुठल्या मेंबर मधले फोर्सेस पाहिजेत बी सी आणि बी मी डायरेक्ट एक अशी सेक्शन लाईन पास केली की जी बी सी ला कट होते आणि बी ला पण कट होते ओके आणि त्याच्याच बरोबर ए ला पण कट होते ही सेक्शन लाईन अशी मी पास केलेली आहे ओके ना आफ्टर पासिंग द सेक्शन लाईन यू कॅन आयदर कन्सिडर द इक्विलिब्रियम ऑफ लेफ्ट हँड साइड यू कॅन कन्सिडर द इक्विलिब्रियम of lhs or rhs okay or rhs now simply if i consider the equilibrium of left hand side see then my diagram will be i will draw the diagram again by considering the equilibrium of left hand side pay attention this is important so now if i draw the diagram see how much diagram i will draw this is the member a then here is the reaction ra then this is member ab which is as it is because it is not getting cut by the section so it is as it is then here from this point 
the horizontal member is there bc and next member this is the member be okay now see how i am showing this is my point a this is point b member ab will be as it is as it is not cutting by the section line now see this member bc it is cutting down by the section line we don't know the force in member bc we don't know the nature of the force in the member bc so what we will assume it is tensile so i will show here the arrow is like this tensile and i will write here f b c this is the force in member b c similarly this section line is cutting over here at this point for this member b e so this is my member b e i don't know the force so i will show tensile and i will write f b e okay similarly the section line continues below and it will cut the member a e near about here so here i will say this is the force in member a e थोड़क मैं संगाइच की सेक्शन लाइन ज्या ज्या मेम्बरला कट करती मेम्बरलाइल फोर्स दाखवा मेम्बर अपन सॉल्व कराए देर इज नो नीड टू सॉल्व द जॉइंट ए और एनी अदर जॉइंट डिरेक्टली दोज मेम्बर्स वी विल गेट द वैल्यूज इन दोज मेम्बर्स ओके सो दिस इज माइ लेफ्ट हैंड साइड प्री बॉडी डायग्राम ओके लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑफ द सेक्शन एंड इफ आई शो द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ द सेक्शन आई विल शो इट बाय द डॉटेड लाइन here you can see if i extend this line and extend this line also where they will meet this is my point e okay and at this point a point load is also there and this point load is p1 okay. again if i extend this further like this and if i extend here extend means here already the member is there why i am showing dotted because it is right hand side here is my point c and here is the load which is acting on point c p2 okay this angle is known to us 60 degree okay angle is known to us just one minute okay so this angle is known to us hmm now if i want to solve this
Okay. So some exam related calls are there, no? Today is the final year. Online exam is started. Okay. Uh, so now see here, whatever I have shown in the black ink, it is the LHS, and whatever I have shown here in the blue ink, it is the RHS. Okay. Now here, one thing you can observe here in the method of joints. In addition to summation f x and f y, I can use summation m equal to zero also. Here, you can use the equation summation m is equal to zero. This equation also you can use. Okay, here you can use summation f y equal to zero, summation f x equal to zero in method of joints. But summation m we cannot use because we are considering a joint which is a single point and all the forces are meeting at that point. So there is no point in taking the summation m equation. But here now, as I am considering the LHS. Now here you can see there is different points are there at point A, at point B. Also you can take the moment at point C also and point E also, even though those points are at the RHS. Okay, so here in addition to these two equations, in addition to these two equations, I can use one more equation that is summation m is equal to zero. For example, now suppose I want to find out the forces in member BC. Okay, first of all, I want to find out the force in member BC. Now what I will do, see member BC starts at point B, ends at point C. If I look other two members, BE and AE, so these two members are meeting at point E. See, if I extend this B, it will pass through point E. If I extend this A, it will also pass through point E. Okay. So I can take moment of all the forces about E equal to zero. Sign conventions are same. Clockwise forces positive, anti-clockwise forces negative. So once I apply this equation, then what I will get? So the moment of this B will become zero. Moment of A will become zero, and third force going to be the FBC. Current section more which force cut the level BC, BE, and AE. So he three nuts force to check calculation. Made he till he. Baki che cut nuts the level force just na re he force to check calculation. Made he na na. These forces will not come into the calculation because they are won't getting uh, cut by the section line. They are not getting cut by the section line. Okay. Now here, if I use the moment at e equal to zero, this B is passing through point E. This A is also passing through point E. So their moment automatically becomes zero. Then what is remaining? Now this point load P1, it is also passing through point E. So its moment is also zero. Okay. Now I have to see the left hand side of the section. So on the left hand side of the section, you can see this much of things are there. Left hand side of the section. Okay. So here now R A. So suppose now R A the distance between A to E is two meter. So what will be the moment of R A? It is R A into two. It is moving upward, so called positive. Then member A B. A B is not getting cut by section line, so nothing. We are not doing anything for A B. This B and A automatically become zero. This P one is also become zero. Then who is remaining? B C. So I can write F B C into. Whatever may be this distance, we can calculate this distance. Suppose right now we don't know this distance. Suppose it is y, so it will be F B C into y. Whatever the distance is there, after calculation we will get the distance. It is also moving in anti-clockwise direction, so it is plus, and this is equal to zero. If you solve the equation, you will directly get the value of F B C force in member B C. Okay, so in this way we can solve the numericals. In this way we can directly get the uh, Value of the force in member BC. At the itta baga, apply direct BC madli value mali. Apply the AB solve karao lagle na hi. Okay. Samastha ka kai samtoi the. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is what is the major difference in method of joints and method of section. So in the examination, if they ask you particularly something, if they give you a big truss, and in that truss, if they ask you some two three values of the members, okay, only the values of two or three members, then you should always go by method of uh, section instead of going for method of joints. समझा आता है इतना भी तुम्हाला अब तो ही आशी आसान ट्रस्ट रखो ले समझा है पर तासा कंटिन्यू आसान ट्रस्ट पूरा ही एन नंबर ऑफ टाइम समझा कंटिन्यू है पूरा ना तुमसे शीट बोलो and you have to think about the interest of the team and the members of the force. Then at that time, 
you must use method of sections it will save your time and you quickly get the answer at that time if you start from method of joints right from the first joint then it will be very time consuming it is paper us par ekas problem solve karun hoy tumcha okay so what is the additional advantage we are getting here in the method of section the first advantage is uh, we can directly find out the forces in the member where we want or where it is asked in the problem directly without solving their uh, preceding joints and the second thing is that in addition to summation fx and fy we can use the equation of summation m also that is also very helpful to us by using the equation of summation m we can solve it okay so in this way see whenever you are considering the left hand side equilibrium of the truss एक गोष आता मराठी संगतो नीट लक्षा ठेवा हा जो सेक्शन वन वन आहे हा कुणाकुणाला कट होऊन चाललाय बी सी ला बी ला आणि ए ला ह्या तीन मेंबरला कट झालेला आहे मी कुठल्या साईडचा इक्विलिब्रियम कन्सिडर करतोय मी लेफ्ट हँड साईडचा इक्विलिब्रियम कन्सिडर करतोय म्हणजे हा पूर्ण पार्ट आहे बघा हा पूर्ण पार्ट मी इथे ड्रॉ केलेला आहे हा मेंबर कट झाला ह्याला टेन्साईल घेतलं हा मेंबर कट झाला ह्याला टेन्साईल हा मेंबर कट झाला हा पण टेन्साईल हा कट झाला नाही आहे तसं ठेवलं आहे तसं ठेवलं ओके हे पुढचे मी तुम्हाला इथं ब्लू लाईनने डॉटेडने जॉईन करून दाखवलं आता जेव्हा मी लेफ्ट हँड साईडचा इक्विलिब्रियम कन्सिडर करतो तर ह्याचा अर्थ मी या ट्रस्ट मधल्या कुठल्याही जॉईंटला मुवमेंट घेऊ शकतो म्हणजे तुम्ही असं समजू नका की सेक्शनची मी लेफ्ट हँड साईड कन्सिडर करतोय म्हणजे मी फक्त मुवमेंट ए पॉईंटलाच घेऊ शकेन किंवा मी मुवमेंट बी पॉईंटलाच घेऊ शकेन सी पॉईंट हा तर आर एच एस मध्ये जाते ई पॉईंट हा तर आर एच एस मध्ये जाते व मी मुवमेंट घेऊ शकत नाही तर असं नाही मुवमेंट तुम्ही कुठल्याही जॉईंटला घेऊ शकता इवन दो यू आर कन्सिडरिंग लेफ्ट इट डझंट मॅटर विच इक्विलिब्रियम यू आर कन्सिडरिंग आयदर लेफ्ट हँड साईड ऑर राईट हँड साईड यू कॅन टेक द मुवमेंट ॲट एनी जॉईंट दिस इज द फर्स्ट की पॉईंट अँड द सेकंड की पॉईंट इट इज ट्रू दॅट यू कॅन टेक द मुवमेंट ॲट एनी पॉईंट आता मी मुवमेंट इथे ई पॉईंटला घेतली आहे ऑल दो ई पॉईंट इज नॉट इन द लेफ्ट हँड साईड इट इज ॲट द राईट हँड साईड आय कॅन टेक द मुवमेंट पण त्या मुवमेंटमध्ये इथं जे तुम्ही इक्वेशन लिहिणार आहेत खाली तर या इक्वेशन मध्ये फक्त लेफ्ट हँड साईडचे मेंबर्स किंवा फोर्सेस यायला पाहिजेत तिथं मग राईट हँड साईडचे फोर्सेस किंवा मेंबर्स घ्यायचे नाहीत आर यू गेटिंग माय पॉईंट वेन एव्हर आय एम युझिंग द इक्वेशन इन दिस वे ओके सो आय कॅन टेक द पॉईंट फॉर द टेकिंग द मुवमेंट एनी पॉईंट इन द ट्रस्ट बट वाईल रायटिंग द इक्वेशन इफ आय एम कन्सिडरिंग द लेफ्ट हँड साईड इक्विलिब्रियम then i should use the forces and uh, uh, loads reactions at the left hand side only okay so this is the basic difference between method of section and method of joints as you will uh, we will solve more and more problems you will get familiar with this okay so first of all we will write down some description about the method of joints okay so write it this is also important sorry method of section method of section so method of section so in this method in this method a section is passed a section is passed through the member to the member of which of which forces is to be is to be determined of which the forces is to be determined the moment the moment of all the forces comma reactions and the members of the given trust of the given trust which are which are cut by the 
friction line are considered okay see here what is in this uh, in this method a section is passed through the members of which forces is to be determined so in the method of section where we want to calculate the forces in the members we have to pass the section through those members that is given in the first para secondly what is mentioned over here the moment of all the forces reactions okay and the members of the given truss which are cut by the section lines are considered okay so the members which are cut by the section lines those only consider while taking the moment okay and the forces and the reactions are we consider where we uh, we are considering the equilibrium if we consider the equilibrium of left hand side we will consider all the forces and the reactions from the left hand side if we consider the equilibrium of right hand side then we will consider all the forces and reactions from the right hand side but remember one thing even if you are considering the equilibrium of uh, right hand side or left hand side still you can take the moment at any joint that is the key point in the method of section okay so next time next thing is that in the next para how to pass the section okay that is uh, the significance of the section is given in the next para so write it a section a section is passed a section is passed in such a way in such a way that that maximum maximum three members three members are cut are cut at a time at a time okay after never lilies ke apan passing the section so three members should cut at a time tejya paksha jast na sun hai asu nahi consider equilibrium consider equilibrium of either right hand side or left hand side so the last para says that a section which is passed it should be in a such a way that maximum three number of uh, three members should be cut by the section maximum three number members and consider the equilibrium of their rhs or lhs okay so we will see one small example to, to understand the method of section So now I will draw simple triangle. Suppose now this is a very simple truss. It is like this. For our understanding, we are taking this name. Right? Tell me, you have a simple example. Why it is not easy? So here a load is acting. This load is of twenty kilonewton. So. This is point A. Here it is B. This is C. And the supports are also given. Supports are simple supports. This is the simple support at A. Simple support at C. And the span. This span. This is. Five meter. This span is five meter, and this angle is sixty degree. This angle is thirty degree. And the question is, find find the forces. Find the force in the members in the members A B. and bc so the problem is find the force in the members ab and bc 
so here you can see this is the member ab this is the member bc ac madla force kane vicharle la nahi so then what i will do i want to calculate the forces in member ab and ac before that i should calculate the reaction okay so here this is my reaction rb here this is the reaction rb and this is the reaction rc so first of all we need to calculate the reaction after the calculation of the reaction now see this angle is 60 this is 30 so this angle is 90 degree so if i drop the perpendicular from this point if i drop the perpendicular from this point here this angle is 90 degree this angle will become 30 degree so this side is 5 meter okay if this side is 5 meter if you use the big triangle first this angle is 90 degree this is 60 degree this is 30 degree so this this is the 5 meter is the side opposite to hypotenuse so hypotenuse is known to you this angle is 60 degree so ab is the adjacent side ab is the adjacent side so in triangle in triangle abc if i consider big triangle then cos of 60 is equal to adjacent side adjacent side is let us say that this side is x adjacent side is x divided by hypotenuse so it will be x divided by hypotenuse is this angle is 90 degree because this is 60 this is 30 so this remaining must be 90 degree so it is x by 5 so it will be therefore x is equal to what therefore x is equal to 5 cos 60 so therefore x is equal to 2.5 meter cos 60 is 0.5 so this side i can say this side This is 2.5 meter. Why I have calculated this side? Because if I drop the perpendicular from this point, and if I extend the line of action of this 20 kilonewton force over here, so this is the perpendicular distance of this 20 kilonewton force. So I want to calculate this much of length. So if I drop the perpendicular, this angle becomes 90 degree now. This is 60 degree. So now this side becomes hypotenuse. And this 60 I know. Then again, again if I use the cos of 60, suppose now. This side is y now. Okay, so this is simple trigonometry I am doing. Suppose now this is y. Now I want to calculate this. Hypotenuse is two point five. So again, in triangle, in triangle, suppose this is point o. A B O cos of sixty is equal to again adjacent side is y divided by hypotenuse. Which is equal to y divided by hypotenuse is two point five. It is two point five. Therefore, y is equal to two point five cos sixty. Therefore, y is equal to one point twenty five meter. So this y it is one point twenty five. So I will write here. So this is one point twenty five meters. now if i take i want to calculate the reaction so take summation m about b equal to 0 for entire truss ha kutas me section vagare yetle nahi reaction tumhi kutli kada beam chi kada truss chi kada you have to use whole structure while calculating the reaction so now moment at b0 so this rb is 0 then this 20 kN it will be 20 into 1.25 it is moving in clockwise direction so positive minus this rc is moving upward so it will rotate in anti clockwise direction so it will be minus 5 rc is equal to 0 therefore rc is equal to what is the value Five. Five. Okay. 
so rc is equal to 5 kN we got the positive answer so as in direction is correct now apply summation fy equal to 0 upward forces plus downward forces minus now if you apply summation fy equal to 0 then rb minus 20 plus rc is equal to 0 therefore rb is equal to what is the answer Fifteen kilonewton. Uh, this is also upward RP. So we have got the answers. Now we need to find out the uh, what we can say forces in member A B and B C. So now what I will do first, I will rub this okay, so that you will understand it better. Now these dimensions already known to us now. So here I will draw the section line first. So this is my section line. I will draw the section line like this. So it should cut maximum of three members. That is the condition. And section line as straight line as a weaver cut. Straight line manje, you can draw vertical line, you can draw horizontal line, you can draw inclined line. It's zigzag corona kasakai three shape. Okay. So that you should follow. Your section line should follow the equation y is equal to mx plus c. Y equal to mx plus c chikashi line as the okay. So now this is the section line. So we can consider the equilibrium of right hand side and left hand side. So you will consider the equilibrium of left hand side. So for left hand side now, I will draw the diagram. Okay. For left hand side now, I will draw the diagram. So if I draw the diagram for the left hand side, then it will be. This is my point B. I don't know the forces in member. Okay. I don't know the forces in member B A or AB, you can call it as AB or BA. And here, BC, you don't know the forces. BC, and this angle is 60 degree. And here, this is RB, which is equal to 15 kN. Now, just we need to solve this. Okay, either you can use the equation of summation M, or we can use the summation FX and FY by simply, also that we can solve the problem. Okay, so this is our point B. This is our point B. So see, if you resolve this, if I resolve it, then here will be my one component. Second component will be over here on this line. So this is FAB sine 60. This is FAB cos 60. Now, if I simply apply summation Fy equal to 0, what do I get? Plus 15 moving upward reaction and plus Fab sine 60. Sine 60 is equal to what? It is 0. So if you solve that, what is the value of Fab? Kali value ABC. Twelve point nine nine. Twelve point nine nine. Fifteen divided by sine sixty. Seventeen by seven point eight. Seven 17.32 is it, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it is minus. So, therefore, FAB is equal to, it is 17.32 kilonewton compressive. But I am directly not going to change the sign. FAB is compressive. Upon the 10 side. 
आता परत चेंज करून मला सगळं बदलत बसायचं नाहीये सो आय विल युज द मायनस व्हॅल्यू फॉर द फर्दर कॅल्क्युलेशन नाव इफ आय अप्लाय समेशन एफ एक्स इक्वल टू झिरो वॉट आय विल गेट आय विल राईट हिअर एफ ए बी कॉस सिक्स्टी प्लस एफ बी सी इज इक्वल टू झिरो सो दिस इज एफ ए बी कॉस सिक्स्टी एफ बी सी बोथ आर मुव्हिंग टुवर्ड्स राईट सो एफ ए बी इज मायनस सेव्हन्टीन पॉइंट थर्टी टू कॉस ऑफ सिक्स्टी डिग्री प्लस एफ बी सी इज इक्वल टू झिरो ना आफ्टर सॉल्विंग दिस यू विल गेट द व्हॅल्यू ऑफ एफ बी सी तिथे येते मायनस सेव्हन्टीन पॉइंट थर्टी टू कॉस सिक्स्टी तिकडे गेल्यावर प्लस होईल सो लेट मी नो द आन्सर सेव्हन्टीन पॉइंट थर्टी टू कॉस ऑफ सिक्स्टी एट पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स एट पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स सो द आन्सर इज एट पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स यू हॅव गॉट पॉझिटिव्ह आन्सर सो इट इज टेन साय यू गॉट द पॉझिटिव्ह आन्सर सो इट इज टेन साय समजलं का सो वी गॉट द फोर्सेस फोर्स इन मेंबर ए बी एन बी सी बाय अनादर वे अल्टरनेटिव्ह मेथड बाय टेकिंग द मोमेंट ऑल्सो वी कॅन सॉल्व सी हिअर नाव लेफ्ट हँड साईड इक्विलिब्रियम वी हॅव टेकन बट बाय टेकिंग द मोमेंट आयदर ॲट पॉइंट ए or either at point c we can also solve the numerical but we are not going to take the moment at point b because ab and bc both will become zero so there is none of use so here i will draw the diagram alternative one or jar asal jari ajun ekda tumhala or pan dakhto yecha kase solve karta yete je tumhala sopa vatal tyachani karat ja so here again i will draw the free body diagram here it is bc किलोमीटर एंड दिस इज एफ बी force in member bc force in member ab okay so this is the equilibrium we are going to consider this angle is 60 degree hmm then we, we we have resolved this also we have also made the resolution these forces are resolved okay so this is the one component this is the another component which is horizontal so this is our fab sin 60 this is fab cos 60 now see if i complete the diagram see this is moving further like this here somewhere your point a is there and then from here it will be moving like this is moving further like this here somewhere your point a is there and from there now this is the dotted line this is the further part that is why i have shown it by the dotted line this is my point okay now see how we can calculate uh, it directly we know that from this b to c it is how much b to c dimension it is given to us it is 5 meter and ab 2.5 meter we have already calculated okay so here you can see if i take if i take the moment at point a summation m about a equal to 0 clockwise plus anti clockwise minus hmm? so now fab fab is passing through point this point but fab is resolved now there are two components of fab okay there are two components of fab but if you take the moment of fab about a of this component and fab about this cos component ultimately it will be zero because fab is passing through point b still we will take the moment now see rb what is the distance of this rb from point a if i drop the perpendicular we have calculated the distance already we have calculated this as 1.25 if this is 5 meter and if we drop the perpendicular over here then this distance is also 1.25 and this is not 1.25 this we have calculated 2.5 we have calculated 
So RB into what is the distance? It is 1.25. So the distance of RB is 1.25. So it is RB into 1.25. It is moving upward. It is moving in clockwise direction. So positive. Then plus this FAB sine 60. It is also positive. FAB sine 60. Its distance is also this much of distance. Okay, here is the point A. So it is again 1.25. The distance is 1. Point, I think now calculation of the distance and calculation of the angle, it should not be the big deal for you. Hmm? If you have a lot of angle, you can see the angle, you can see the theorems, you can see the trigonometry, you can distance calculator. Okay, and you can see the distance calculator. Okay, it is very easy. So now, what is the distance? Here we have FAB aside. So here distance is added. Here we have 1.25. Then FAB cos 60 is vertical distance. So now what is this vertical distance if this angle is 90 degree? This is 2.5. Okay. This is 2.5. So this will be 2.5 sin 60. So this distance will be 2.5 sin 60. If you use sin 60, it will be opposite side. This is your opposite side. This is angle 60 degree. So opposite to 60 degree, this is side and this is hypotenuse. So it will be 2.5 sin of 60. So it is 2.16. So this height is 2.16. So it will be, this will be, FAB into this vertical distance is 2.16. Okay. This vertical distance is 2.16. So it is minus FAB into FAB cos of 60 into 2.16. Okay. Again, this FBC is also on the same line minus FBC into 2.16 which is equal to 0 okay. which is equal to 0 now if you solve it further what you will get RBC value that you are put the value of RB over here Kiti RBC value 15 into 1.25. Kiti at 15 into 1.25. 18.75. It is 18.75. So I will write here 18.75 plus. Ata hai AFAB assess teva. Sign 60 into 1.25. What is the answer? Sign 60 into 1.25. What is the answer? 1.08, correct? Yes, sir. FAB. Okay, again yes, now. Here, FAB will be as it is cos 60 into 2.16. What is the answer? Cos 60 into 2.16. What is the answer? 1.08. Here, what is the answer? 1.08, and it is minus. So, again, minus. 1.08 FAB. Okay. And this is uh, minus FBC into 2.16. So I will send it to that side. So it will become 2.16 FBC. It will become positive if you send it to that side. So now this will get cancelled. This will get cancelled. So what is remaining now? FBC is equal to 18.75 divided by 2.16. FBC is equal to calculate the answer. 8.68. Positive answer 10 side. Ata baga ita answer kiti alen maga answer kiti alo to please check the answers. Okay. Now you can check this answer. FBC. Ha, 8.68. So same answer you will get. And here you can see FBC 8.66. So either this way also you can solve. 
or either this way also you can solve. Okay, for your understanding, I have solved it by both the ways. Whatever you think it is convenient for you, you follow that. Hmm? In the next lecture, we will take more and more problems. So now we will stop over here for today. Now, just a moment. I will take the attendance. Okay, so today is 24th. Sir, IAC second like it is up to IAC second like it is up to first lap and eight chapter or get you take a don. The threat is a third up. I am good. Now. Madhu Sreza Joda complete the like complete second chapter and it is a unit such a Joda Kai Shikun will Purna the Halatra Purna, otherwise Joda Shikun will Toda Pata Snara Sila to Mal. Okay. Okay, sir. So, rule number one give the attendance, rule number one, two, present, sir, three, present, sir, four. Present, sir. Five. Present. Six. Present, sir. Seven. Present, sir. Eight. Eight is present. Nine. Present, sir. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Present, sir. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15 present sir 16 present 17 17 present sir 18 19 present 20 present sir 21 present sir 22 present sir 23 present sir 24 present sir 25 present sir 26 present sir 27 present sir 28 present 29 present sir 30 present sir 31 32 present sir 33 Present, sir. 34. Present, sir. 35. Present, sir. 36. 31 is present. 37. Present, sir. 38. Present, sir. 39. Present, sir. 40. Present, sir. 41. Present, sir. 42. 43, 44, 45, present, sir, 46, present, sir, 47, 48, 49, present, sir, 50, Present, sir. 51. 52. Present, sir. 53. 54. Present, sir. 55. Present, sir. 56. 57. 